This is not Game of Thrones. This is not Jon Snow and the armies of the North. This is not Dragonfire. This is not King's Landing. Ever since Game of Thrones ran out of books to base itself on, it's had to be more creative in sourcing its storylines. Some of these were born in the minds of screenwriters, but others will have been heavily based on real history. I'm almost certain that the Siege of King's Landing is one of those latter cases. Here's a besieging army that's fought for years to reach the city they're now besieging. Here's an army that suffered hostility, suffering and death for all those years. Here's a few heroic individuals trying to avoid the inevitable, but here is the red mist descending on fragile human minds. Here is the blood of innocence running through the streets, and here is the desecration of the very city this army fought to conquer. I know what this is, and if you know your history well, you'll know it too. This isn't King's Landing, this is our world. This is the year 1099. This is Jerusalem. Until next time. And just for the record, I thought the whole Clegane Bowl thing was a new low point in the series, and obviously Dragonfire, hot though it might be, does not have the propulsive force to just blow away thick stone walls.